Hello and welcome to the Skyward channel. Today, we're going cheap. For you guys today, I have this gaming keyboard from Havit. It's called the Havit HV KB380L. But here's the thing, it's $40. And being a budget tech channel, I thought it's about time that we actually look at a gaming keyboard that's under $50 and see if it's actually legitimate or not. Because if you guys probably don't know already, but a lot of the keyboards that you see on like Amazon or other websites that are really cheap, for the most part, are too good to be true. They probably have, you know, not the best reviews and they're for the most part underwhelming. So I want to see if this keyboard from Havoc can break that stereotype and actually contend to be a legitimate gaming keyboard for under 50 bucks. So let's get into the review. So the number one thing I really like about this keyboard is the build quality. I've used some more expensive keyboards than this, and this keyboard I think trades out a bit of gaming qualities that you see in most other gaming keyboards that they try to emphasize for a really cheap price like this for some really good build quality. And here's what I mean by that. This keyboard has, I would say, some pretty good specs for its price. It's got RGB lighting, which I'll elaborate on later, anti-ghosting, a hard plastic construction, and due to its price, membrane keys. Now, before we close the video, I wouldn't give up on this keyboard just yet. Like I said, I feel that this keyboard trades potential keyboard performance for better build quality. And just gonna spoil it for you guys here right now, but the membrane keys on this keyboard are actually pretty decent. But aside from that, with the exception of a few gaming keyboards, there are a lot of cheap gaming keyboards on Amazon or other websites. And like I said, they don't exactly have the best quality for those mechanical keypads that they try to fit in for their price, which either way, aren't usually Cherry MX switches. They're usually knockoffs to meet the price point of the product. And that's where I see the HVKB380L shine, which is in its build quality and design because this is actually a pretty simplistic, modern looking keyboard that has a very attractive look to it that gives off a bit of a premium look for $40. Even in its presentation, because I did not do justice with this in the last Havoc keyboard review video that I did with the 389L, the packaging behind these Havoc keyboards make you feel like you're getting a premium product, yet it's not too fancy or too overdone. And the way this product is presented also kind of reminds me of a mass drop product if you have any experience with those. So for the most part, packaging is pretty nice for what you're paying for, unlike maybe some other keyboards that you may be looking for in the same price range. But now let's talk about my experience of using it. And for one, I'll say that this is by far the best membrane keyboard I've ever used for gaming and for regular use. I've used Cherry MX Browns, Cherry MX Blues, and other various key switches, and this keyboard definitely has some above average membrane switches. They respond, I'd say, decently well. They don't require a ton of force to use, and they even sound pretty pleasant. Take a listen. So for you guys who may be insecure or going with a membrane gaming keyboard, well, I wouldn't worry so much about this one in specific because um, aside from this, it, this doesn't have really cheap membrane keys, like with the ones we probably use in like the Dell or Logitech keyboards that we've had experience with at like home or school. Those are very cheap and they're not the highest quality. Whereas these, they are really high quality, I would say for my use of using them. So I wouldn't worry so much about the membrane keys. They still did pretty good for gaming. And as for typing, they they weren't like really clicky or super responsive like mechanical switches, but they were still pretty decent. But I do have a few complaints with this keyboard. 50% of the time when I was going to type in the enter key for like sending a message on Skype or Discord, I usually press the key that's right next to the enter key and that's just due to the shape of the enter key, which would be the slash key. So a lot of the times whenever I, you know, typed up messages and I wanted to send them, there used to be a slash at the end of the sentence because the enter key is kind of shaped weirdly. So that's maybe just a little picky thing. I want to just kind of hit on with this keyboard. So over time that eventually got away, but just for a heads up, you're going to have to get used to the enter key on this keyboard because it's kind of in an awkward position. And the second thing is that if this keyboard can do a slow fading RGB effect, because that's the only one that it offers, I feel like it should be able to do more for its price, like a, a flashing effect or like a sideways fading effect or a vertical fading effect. If this keyboard could do some like more RGB lighting features, because I feel like it could for its price that enhance the value of this keyboard even more. But like I said, if you're gonna get RGB lighting, but you're only gonna have like two lighting options, which is one, it's gonna stay on, or two, it's gonna fade from black to
to a bunch of colors, so that's just kind of what you're paying for. So I'd like to see more RGB options in the future. But in conclusion, I would definitely say that this is probably one of the few gaming keyboards that I've used for under $50 that has definitely opened my experience to cheaper gaming keyboards and what they can really offer. I would say if you're looking for a cheap gaming keyboard, I would take a good look at this one. It does offer some very nice features, and as I said, the biggest point about this keyboard, in my opinion, would have to be the build quality, especially for its price. So if you're looking for just something that's nice, for $150, I mean, it doesn't have to like have the best like crazy performance thing or whatever. And I mean, the memory keys on this keyboard are still pretty good. So if you just want something that's just nice, like a nice gaming keyboard, that's gonna do you good for a long time, I would look at the Havoc KB380L. It's definitely a well-built gaming keyboard that while still uses membrane switches, they still do pretty good for gaming and for typing. And I'd say it's a pretty solid buy for $40. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this keyboard review video. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that. And this is the Skyward Channel signing out.